Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back under the video from Team Four Star on the Four Star Bento channel with the Dragon Ball Z Abridged Creator Commentary Series, episode 44. We're just gonna get right into it. Make sure you check out my Etsy shop and Patreon down below We're in the description. Back to Imperfect Cell. And hey. this opener, one of my favorites that we have ever done. Uh, I. I, I love stupid creature feature flicks, so I'm glad we got a Jeepers Creepers 2 <laughs> reference in on this Hell sucker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really proud of the edit on this one. The edit on this was really, really tough, and it came out looking splendid. I'm so happy. Dude, when his head whips around, I mean, we'll get to that, but oh my god, the There's, sound and just the look of it. <laughs> I'm also going to give you full credit for all the uh, arrow signs with all the different sounding signs. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that was just like, I, even that me. Was, that, was my that was my favorite bit, like that. Uh, like, but uh, but more than that, we just get to see Cell alone. trying to scramble around and just be the monster that He's, he is. Yeah. Cell's alone by himself. And I think this one ends on mm. uh, one of our favorite gags too. Doesn't this one end with the radio? Oh, oh you my say God! Gag. It does. You say gag. Hold on. If that if this is the episode mm -hmm. where it ends on that, I'm gonna be so happy because it's, that it's, is it's either it is. this one that ends on the radio this or is the 46. One. This, yeah. this is the one. That okay, ends. well, this you know is what? The one that, what? I I know all the imperfect cell episodes. Yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this is. I am. Oh my yeah, God! This, this is kind of like a big imperfect cell episode. Yeah. This there was this was there was a certain contentious part about this because some of these some of the parts of this episode are filler some filler material. Mm -hmm. For me, I I will admit. I was pushing for more Imperfect Cell. Whenever Imperfect Cell is on screen, people should be going, where's Imperfect, Imperfect Cell? <laughs> Which is what happens in this episode. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? I, I'm unfamiliar. As somebody who read the manga, do they show as much of Imperfect Cell doing his hunting stuff as they no, do, or do they leave him in the it. background and the heroes are just hunting and just hearing about it? You you get to see a fraction of what they show in the anime, which honestly, if the anime was going to expand on anything, this was good stuff to expand on. Yeah, it made sense, and it did its job. It filled in time, yeah. Actually, it's, it's very interesting because the Cell Saga... Its use of like additional footage, like like the only filler in the entirety of the Android saga that I think is absolutely un like unforgivable are those three dudes at the tournament. Mm. They are the worst additions to the entire series. To, the, to this day, nobody yeah. gives you enough credit for eliminating them entirely. Except for that one Except shot. Except for one shot that where one the ghosts shot. of their where their ghosts yeah, their ghosts, the very yeah. battlefield. Well, there was so much power level stuff going on that their spirits were like trapped there, but and then that's why they had to stay there. Yeah, yes. but honestly, um, otherwise, I am really happy that like this arc, this and the anime was like. We're just gonna add a bunch of stuff that kind of feels like it's missing, but and it allows us to give Cell some more personality and yeah, more, get time some more time to shine yeah, yeah, yeah. before he rapidly changes into, into a worse a character, and then a much, and then a perfect character. Right. But man, that second form is. I, I will still maintain something. that Perfect Cell is his weakest of the three forms. Really? Yeah. I I don't know, man. Just In the con look, here's here's my problem. What? We'll talk about this again when oh, we get to imperfect. When, when we get to semi perfect cell, but he shows up. He, he's immediately presented as a threat, but then gets nothing but bitch slapped the entire time. Well, that's it's true. true. It is absolutely Very true. curb stomp. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he does. But everyone else has been training to get stronger to deal with it. But at the very least, he's not just kind of more boring Frieza. Mm. He's, he just kind of stands first there form, like... Why, per, for, first form cell is a predator creature hunting. Yeah, and which is it, great. Which is, he's like literally, the, oh, we're about to start here. And you're, he's, he's, he's such a good character that they whole hog rip him off for the Eternals. Is that actually <laughs> what happened? Yeah. He's, basically the, he's basically the antagonist in the Eternals. Yeah, That's true. It, they got me. It's because they said that they had that one guy from Game of Thrones. And I'm... I've I've still not watched Eternals. I'm so behind on the Marvel lie. stuff, man. There's a lot of things I'm willing to sack when that sees top of the list of the suck jobs. But by the way, it will not surprise you that the director for Eternals is a huge anime fan. That doesn't shock uh, me at all. The, the movie shows a lot of influence. He called there. right. Damn. <laughs> but, uh, shall, uh, but shall we yeah, get cracking I, into it? I'm just get I'm into the episode. Started, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm let's eager. do it. I'm an eager beaver. Take it away, Roger. Get into it. The following is a fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Good prospector voice there. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look, man, this is just my impression of what I was given. It started from a wacky. Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. Ah, coming. Here we go. The perfect cell theme. A great theme. Here we go. All right. So South City is to the north, North City to the west, and East City is. 
I'll zoom, zoom to, to the north. Where the, the fuck, fuck am I? I? <laughs> I love that. I love that so I much. I was genuinely confused when I got the line. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, oh, battle ball. Yes. Now that's some filler. I need to ask you to move on. Who do we get to play the driver? Because he does a great job here. Uh, I do not remember. Oh, I actually can't remember either. Oh no, that's such a shame. No. Uh, yeah. It's in the credits of the description. One kid's entertainment. He's so old. Now, one kid's entertainment. Isn't that someone that did the voices for um, Poke Pokey Bridge, the Pokemon Bridge series? Isn't it? Fight. <laughs> I am now going to use it again. I will now continue to use the Cell's just ignoring him. He's just... Move. One thing I also really love about this season is we get to spend a lot of time with the citizens of the mm, Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's true, actually. In no yeah. other season have we ever been able to do that. Random we just get to people. see how these normal people live in this really weird, fucked up world. The, yeah. The first saga, you know, this is kind of... We, get, we have all the different bullet points, all the different directions. Namek, we're on Namek. But the, as you say, this is the first one we're on Earth. Humans are walking around. Heck, we had, you, had, you already did the review of the episode. I don't care how many people I have to kill as long as you are one of them! Yeah, yeah. in the oh, Saiyan yeah, saga, yeah, obviously, people it's a lot of training. Yeah. And then the Saiyans show up and not a lot of humans. Namek, well, yeah. But, but this season, you get, like... You see so many towns of so many people and just get interactions between so many of the people. And, I mean, this entire chunk here is about Cell hunting them down. So you get to actually see... <laughs> Our weird vision of their society. Yeah, yeah, like how it, it is, actually uh, works. It is. I, I don't even I know. I imagine the politics it. of this world where there's a king that's a dog. I'm just like, well, what led yeah. to this? I mean, I feel like we should elect a dog as king. Good breeding. Good. Ah, uh, that's there good. Go. Good, there good, go. good, good okay, breeding. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he just stops for a moment. Uh, Beat me. This is, this is so Acme. I love it. <laughs> okay, he stopped. No, oh, sound effect. <laughs> ah. I just need to find my brother and sister before. This is me. Yep. You ain't no cost to get off the, the road. road. Else me and the boys are going to have to make your face look like, like your ass. ass. And your ass, ass look, look like, like your face. face. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> that sensor there. Also, also, Nappa with a beanie. That's right. I have a beanie. <laughs> We censored this shot. guy because if you ever see the footage, it, his head is just a dick. It's his a head dick. looks like a penis. Oh. He's got this little divot it's, it's, in the middle. Yeah, it, it's got the little, like, it has the urethra just sticking oh. right there. It's literally like that one scene from The Last Airbender where that girl's hair is definitely a dick. Oh, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> oh, you know, the movie, what? Yeah, 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 yeah that's so yeah. weird. Hey, you. I want to make a joke about your team. What's its name? The City, City Westman. Westman. Hoo-ha. Oh, I am too hungry for this shit. <laughs> they all just stand there. Um, yeah, they all just stand there, I guess, you know? Yeah, like, well, the driver's they're... trying to work at it. Beep, beep! beep. <laughs> He's like, all right, in for a penny. Such a great opener. I love that cut. It's like, ha-ha! Hey. It shows how much of a monster he well, is. Well, he's literally a slasher character. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's so calm and composed until it comes to it, and then it's just, right, I'm insane, I'm crazy. If this was at night, it'd be even freakier. Also, yeah, the fact that we had Jeepers Creepers playing on the bus, just kind of nailing home the Jeepers Creepers 2 yeah. reference of the creature attacking things on a bus. Never seen Jeepers Creepers. It's Whoa. not that, it's, it's okay. Jeepers Creepers 1's good film, ruins it when they reveal the monster, and then 2's just... Not that great because you know what the monster is. And it's like, oh. Okay, it's uh, mid. It's mid. Honestly, if you're in the mood for like a schlocky monster movie, you could do a lot worse. It's a it's a mm. horror movie with a couple comedy cuts. It's weird. Yeah, I I, I personally like it. Jeepers Creepers like 2, one. also pretty good. Rest of them, you can skip it. Nah. There were more? Oh, yes. yes. They made sequels to a horror movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! It was so hard to divide those two. You did a good job, though. Too strong! Explain now! He fused with Kami so we could become strong. Here it comes. 
Wakabe. Look at here. Leave your own hype that much? I am the hype. The line that launched a thousand shirts. Yes, it really did. Okay, so to talk about this line, now this was a perfect example of all three of us working together. Really great. This was all worked out. But I want to talk about the shirt design real quick, everybody. The I am the hype T-shirt. Now the I am the hype T-shirt. We got when we got to design. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Just looking for my water. I thought you had the shirt secretly. Surprise! <laughs> no. We, 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 after selling a bunch of shirts, we're like, okay, I think we know what we need to do for a shirt. Ooh. Round the edges slightly. I am the hype. One color! Yep. Boom! And it was, was the close. number one seller for it's on Shark Robot. Still on, it's still on their front page whenever I look. Yeah, I wow. think it's still. I think it's still our number. Well, and it's not currently our number one selling shirt. That would be I, Androids. Yeah, I, yeah. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that picked up the Android. Yeah, no, wow, sick. you guys got a lot of opinions. That's, that's, that's my favorite stands, design. Now, I want. You, I, they, I thought. I thought of that design when we like were doing the Android song. I'm like. This is clever. I like this. Well, this Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful. I want everybody to have this. Oh. But it can't. But the I am the hype shirts cannibalize the Android sales in mm. a lot of ways. But now that, that now that the Android shirts are taking off now, it's just it's fantastic. I'm, I'm, how I'm actually out. genuinely curious out there. How many of you in the comments own an I am the hype shirt? Because mm. we sold so many of them. Yeah. It was always it was the first insane. one. That and Ghost Snapper were the two that always sold out immediately. And the logo. Yeah. The logo. And the logo. logo. And the logo. And the logo. logo. That's correct. But yeah. I am the hype. Uh, I, such, it's such a it's such a goofy dumb line that you just like said during scripting and then I shouted it back. But not only did you shout it, but you also added like you what you made what made it work was him just yelling I am the hype fine, but it's like there's in your performance, there's this denial that's in the back of the voice yeah. where you could hear it. He's like, oh, yeah. he's, he's, he's like, it's not one hundred. I am the hype! There's a little bit of denial in there, and he's just like Ugh. I'm proving it to myself. Yeah, he's saying like, what's it going more on? himself. I am the strongest, but there's someone stronger in front of me. Than to everybody else. There's a part of me that wishes I'd had a better shot of Vegeta. Like the, the shot so there. Good, Yo, no. that's a great oh, shot of Vegeta. He's, he's, he's got hold spit on, pouring hold on. out of his face. Hold on. I guess. I guess I. There we go. There. What would you change from this? <sighs> you got the vein and everything. Yeah. I guess it's a good shot. Yeah. There you go. You did a good job. You did marvelous. Hey. Finally found you guys. It's Chills Actor! Screaming. What I miss? Pickle up your Sukami. Oh, that finally came, came full circle. circle. <laughs> More importantly, there's a new Oh, we got closure on that. That's neat. Android created by Dr. Jero. <gasps> and Vegeta's just like. Do I hear Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> My god! I love the running thing with like what was it? Is it is it the Super Android 13 movie as well? And Trunks like, please don't let my dad know. <laughs> oh, this scene. Drink a lima bean and lentil smoothie. Yeah, they taste like vomit, but they keep me regular. I'm like a soft serve ice cream machine in the morning. Oh. That may be one of the grossest jokes we've no, ever so made, gross. but I love it. I <laughs> absolutely love so putting that visual image into people's eyes. She's like 300 years old. He needs it. He Does he like poop like this? <laughs> gotta get the swirl with the perfect tip. Put it on a cone. Oh, stop. This is why I'm a turtle a breakfast. Better not be that green shit again. This is quite Scott. Let's be good commentaries, everybody. That's it. Scott's done. <laughs> I'm coming. He came. <laughs> I love playing Roshi. He's so fun. Mm. What a miracle we have witnessed. Allow me to go call the local news. Now, we don't have a lot of these, but there's actually a deleted scene version of this. Oh. Um, and uh, if you want to check it out over... Actually, should we? can we play it here? I wonder if we'll end up playing it here. Splicey? Nice yeah, maybe. Everyone, you have to come quickly. But what about our kale milkshakes? No time for those. Come upstairs. I'm coming. I'm coming. I came. <laughs> look. Look at Goku. Hmm. How exciting. I'll write about it on my blog. I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last three hours. I'll take what I can get. Die with Chi Chi. This probably means Goku's almost all better. Which means he'll be able to fight those androids. What? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. With all this craziness going on, it'll be good to have him on the front lines again. Whoa. Yamcha? Love this. Love this. This is great. As the man pig who has known you for longer than anyone else in this room, shut up. What? It's true. And Gohan will be by his side the whole time. Hey, Yamcha. Oh. When you fall asleep tonight, don't fall asleep tonight. Mom, I'm sure he just... Don't you 
ever make excuses for Yamcha. Wow. <laughs> Why was this deleted? This is great. This is brilliant. Neither of you are going to fight those crazy robots. We're all going to stay here, be nice and peaceful, and become doctor, lawyer, scientists. Yeah, that's great, Mom, but you know if you tell that to Dad, it's just gonna go in one ear and get bored and die. You can actually find yeah. it over on the main channel, the deleted scene. Um, we have a lot of deleted scenes over there, actually. Yeah. You can find a bunch. Like, we did a lot. I don't know if you know this, but we worked on this show a bunch, and we had a lot of ideas that hit the cutting room floor. You Some of them made it into extra things. Yeah. yeah. That's, it, it, it is true, which is what Celloween was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kinda. Celloween, Almost. Celloween was a planned special. That was, that was, we have a lot to talk about that. We'll yeah. get. Celloween was great. I loved it. There. Mm -hmm. I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last three hours. I'll take what I can so get. Good. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I put, I put, uh, his, in the glasses, his, uh, Reflect face reflection wasn't originally in the glasses. In the glasses. Oh, okay. Oh, there wasn't that? Oh, wow. What are you dreaming about? Yeah! Here we go! The so cursed! Are you ready for an adventure? Sword guy Piccolo? Not as cursed uh, as actually, that. I think you need to wake up. The androids are. <laughs> it's Ninja Goku! <laughs> hey, Pyro Goku, let's go on an adventure! Yeah! Nice yeah. touch on the four star ball on his uh, mm. headband. <laughs> thing at the time, right? I wasn't into One Piece, so I didn't didn't get it. The Naruto thing, cool. I was just, I knew One Piece was a thing, but like, well, that's that's funnier to me now. I think that was Stefan, actually. Oh, yeah, that's Either basically way. it in a nutshell. You mean yeah, a nutshell? Shut up! I so if oh. Cell manages to find whatever he's missing, he'll become even stronger. I guess he was pretty vague about it. No matter what, though, if he and the androids join forces, none of us will stand a chance. Says you. And here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How many people you fuse with? You'll never be as strong as a Super Saiyan. Not really much of a milestone anymore. Which it really isn't at that point. It's true. The level beyond a Super Saiyan. Here we go. So what? <laughs> like a Mega Saiyan? Ultra Saiyan? <gasps> You're mocking me. Maximum Over, over Saiyan. Goth Triclops. <laughs> Somehow that's my favorite line from Tenshin Han, by the way. You antagonize him like that. You know he can kill you, right? At this point, it's, it's a, a game. game. If he gives in, I and win. win. And, and he, he knows, knows that. that. <laughs> <laughs> that sells from another timeline. And there's gotta be one in this. James got him like pretty sure red. That emotional episode you had earlier leveled Jiro's lab. Well, he was a mad scientist. Shot in the dark. Maybe he's got a basement. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Oh, you say that too. <laughs> All right, then. I love that. Go back to Jiro's lab. I'm going after Cell. I'm going with Trunks to go after Cell. And I'm going, going with Piccolo to, to go, go after, after Cell. Whenever Cell isn't on screen, people should be going, where's Cell? So, now that I have the chance to say this, um, sorry my dad killed Chiaotzu. Bruh. I wonder if that's the Kami in him. And you made it awkward. <laughs> I love... I don't Dragon know Ball why cool. we put that there. We just realized that Piccolo and Ten Shin Han were right, left standing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to end on a joke. I think, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think we actually realized this is the first time they've ever just the two of them have been alone in a room with them. It kind of feels sorry, like my that. dad killed Chiaotzu. I think that is the case. I don't. They don't remember another alone time together, together very alone often. With them. Yeah. There's yeah. other. There were always there were rooms together or in the same place, but there was always other people there constantly. So this is like the first time. It's, I think it's just the two. Yeah, of Piccolo's them. never apologized for killing everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this! Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> this, this! Hey there, Jerry. What's your name? My name is Ninja Jeff. Who are you? Okay, pause. Hit pause. Okay, there's two inspirations for this. So, um, like one of the big ones, I got to imagine is South Park and Cartman talking to it, talking to his hand. And yeah, stuff. so that's yeah. Polly Princey Pants. It's what, 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 oh, what Cartman does in episode. South Park is he does voices that are clearly him for his stuffed characters and talks to them, and they're crazy because Cartman's insane. Yeah. So yeah. for this, we kind of did that, and I based the voice kind of off that kind of interpretation. Cool, but in cool. truth, the voice is meant to be more from. <laughs> Teen Girl Squad from HomestarRunner.com. Oh, yeah, I can hear so it. Yeah. So good! So good! Oh, yeah, I we left oh my god, I remember that. Oh my god, that's going back some time. Oh my god. Oh, zero. <laughs> it's just, wow. So this is a scene where we were able to showcase he is so insane that he will create a fake voice and then that character will become so polarized to him that he gets into a fight yeah, with he it. gets into an argument with this character he's that he is voicing. He's imperfect. 
he's not he's literally a dis unstabilized experiment trying to find a power source and it's just well, i mean there's that there's that whole other joke that you pitched that just would not work like we what? couldn't find a place for it what which was is like uh, it, 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 it was pickle it was like do you hear the voices of the androids when you're well, like when you're walking in I hear them all. I hear. It's just like that yeah. that cat, the cacophony of screams of hell of all mm. the people he's drank. Yeah. Just, what? Do you say that louder though? I can't. It's kind what? Of, what? I just they're guys. Shut up for real. I'm I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I I have other things to do, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Oh, I don't say that to every town. <laughs> Me. The wiggling of the tail. Good shot. Just weird. Oh, okay, okay, I'm in the middle of the squint. <laughs> Man, that shredded me. I remember that shredding my face. I remember that, yeah. I was like, oh, did we get the take? Yeah, you got the take. Oh, it's good. Is this cold? We were here at noon. It was not this cold. <laughs> you need to warm up. Start looking. This is a cute moment. You know, I sometimes complain about our lifestyle. But honestly, shooting lasers is fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pachu! 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 <laughs> Are you making laser noises? Yes. All the time in my head. Why, Why is, is that, that weird? Pachu! 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 Hey, there it is. Oh, we can't climb down that. It's broken. Just come on. Which I believe is an actual box text that'll pop up in uh, Legacy of Goku. Oh, too. oh, really? Yeah, you can't That's go down. So, it's something like that. It's it's kind of weird that like you're not allowed to go back down there. It's broken. <laughs> they can fly. Yeah. I know it's yeah. dumb, but it's also just a silly joke. Also, I don't know. It's hard to tell whether or not Krillin's being authentic there or, or being is. a smart ass. Joking, and I love the fact yeah. that it's it's kind of vague. The way I'm delivering it. I like the the way I interpreted the line and the way I delivered it is he's being a smart ass, but I, mm. I like that it can be interpreted either way. Mm. Well, it's kind of the, the nebulousness of Krillin's delivery sometimes. Yeah. It's... Wee! <laughs> Wee! I need to ask you a question. <laughs> if we find any more androids, <laughs> do not tell. Please don't tell my father. Yeah. <laughs> I swear on my life. Unless he threatens my life. In which case. Okay, now I can't talk. Wow. Danger Will Robinson. Oh, Who's no. Robinson? Fuck. The they can hear my voice, right? Oh, shit. They it really is not. Huh? Hey, so... Me. If I were a gambling man... Huh? Oh, my God. It's adorable. Yeah. Well, time to waste it. No, wait. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Here we go. It's just, it's... These, these are the schematics for the androids. We could use... Now, don't they use their actual names in this, or... I'm trying to remember. There's something about this episode. These to find a way to turn them on. Don't ask how to turn them on. Don't ask how to turn her on. Don't ask how to turn Android 18 on. How do you turn Android 17 on? Shit! Also, it's a family guy joke. But I love Basically, it. I love. I love it. Okay, so th there what's great go. about this is this information about Lapis and Lazuli had just come out pre a few very, months, very, like a very about recently. a year or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, because these uh, came out as part of the. A uh, new color manga, color yeah, manga that they were coming out. Yeah, a couple yeah, yeah. of interviews with Toriyama, and Toriyama just felt like adding shit. Which I, I, sometimes I, I, that's know, good. Here, sometimes I, it's not. Here's my canon version of how that happened. So what do you have to talk about? Uh, just grabs his paper out. Um, these are their real names. Uh, their names are Lapis and Lazuli. Just like an old notes he had. Uh. Also, I'm gonna say this is the first time I've noticed the notes at the bottom. Who the devil names their children after crystals? It's like they wanted them to grow up to be strippers. <laughs> the first time I've actually read that. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's always been there. Um, <laughs> no, you just added it. No, Scott, we saw what you were doing earlier. You were editing and re-uploading this. Also, um, attempt 253. Yeah. Um, implying, uh, as as uh, Bulma will later say, he only numbers his successful uh, androids. Mm. Meaning, there are a lot of orphans. There's a lot of dead people. There's a lot of corpses in the furnace. There's a lot of co or or orphan corpses. Orpses, as he calls them. Well, that's right. What, did you not find the corpse? Well, that's usually buried beneath the basement. Damn it! I turned them into loam! <laughs> I didn't waste them, I recycled! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor at Lomi. Can we get a sponsorship with Lomi? Somebody ch <laughs> Lomi, they don't kill kids that we know of. It's great for getting rid of organic matter, though. That's right, and we learned that from Breaking Bad. Now we'll never get a sponsorship. That's true. Fist and Lazuli. And apparently, Android 16 was modeled after Jero's son. Also information. Yep. Are you making that up? It sounds like you're making that up. Yeah, it does. Because it did seem like it was being made up after the fact. It's all here, really. Well, okay. 
Grab those and let's kill Cell. Hold on, I I've been thinking. Technically, it's never done. <laughs> Here he comes. So topical. Doesn't have the right to life. Oh Still God. topical. It's about right to life. It's about making, making a, a choice. choice. Do it. A choice, a choice we both need to make. A choice between Pharaoh and State that can ruin lives and fuck it, I'm dropping the apprentice as we're aborting Cell. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. I remember what that in the scripting room is just right. like it's perfect. Let's get out of here before this place comes down on our heads. Sorry, just a little caught up in gloating. I. Woo! I got the job. I just curling killed this time. Baby. <laughs> Well, now, that was like my Parenthood one. Clinic. I swear to God, that was my only addition to this. <laughs> like, I, I feel like the, I wrote the La Vista, maybe. I feel like that was the only thing I did. The rest of the scene was you guys entirely. There is a version of that scene, a longer version that was probably never actually going to make it to screen, hmm. where uh, there were supposed to be picketers outside. Let him live. Let him. <laughs> He's going to kill you all. That's his right. It's his right. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. I love that you purposely pink penned Krillin up for this yep. too. Like just made him a little darker because of the ash. Yep. I never noticed that. Nothing hmm. but clothes with stab marks. This so free calling is free Oh this. Ah, damn it, he killed my star battle back. My entire fantasy team just went straight to hell. This was a joke. We kept turning Tien into God. God, yeah. God literally told me, you can't keep making tension on me. And I told him, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, can. Yes, we can. <laughs> and will. Every, this is, every time he ends on screen, he's going to be a little bit more you. Yep. <laughs> which, which, by the way, we love God. <laughs> But just having him, the fact that Tien has a has a has a fantasy, a fantasy ba battle ball team, team right, right. is like, yeah. I mean, what he, else? Is he, he plays fantasy battle ball, yeah. And w during rest mode, between working out, he's like. Uh, honestly, I think it's I think it makes sense that if he were to have a hobby, it would probably be sports related. Yeah, yeah. they're all athletes. Yeah. Are you serious? What? The uh, third eye movies. No, you don't. I love. Oh, so you worked with the third eye. Here we go. Yeah. This is it. This is okay. It's so, time for uh, Rice Pirate and Zito, right? Yes. Yes. Oh this my is God. Nick, Nick Lar. So you may know him from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He plays yep. a pretty oh. titular character in that. And Chris wow. Zito, who is doing much voice work for us and many different streams. This entire. I don't remember how this came about. It I, was. It was brainchild of him and me because yes. we were looking for a way to. Uh, wrap the episode. All we had was this footage you, I, of Cell devouring a town. You, but what's a fun way we could do that? Radio hosts. Yeah. I think with... I'm trying to remember what came of this because my memory's so blurry on this part. But I remember you guys were kind of selling me on the idea and I was like, okay. Okay, I, I kind of like this because originally... I'm, you know me. I like... I gotta go for the laugh. That's, that's how I am. Drama's... I think there's plenty to laugh at here, <laughs> yeah, but also, oh my god, I guess so I think it's there's the absurdity actually. of it. It also kind of expands the world a little bit more. So you, once again, more of the citizens. One of my big things with horror movies, and I think you can know you know this, Nick. About I think you know this as well. I don't like seeing innocent people get hurt. You know, like I, I actually just like it when someone's done nothing wrong, something mm. bad happens to them, because I don't like that the reality of that. So innocent people being killed in such a violent way is actually really fucked in my head. So that's why I find it so freaky. Even if there's some humor... A, a lot of it is off-screen violence. That's, But that's almost scarier because you're imagining what it is. Yeah, well, it's yeah, seeing it. That's like, why people, this, is, this is why this scene is really freaky to me. I'm happy that I got to be the killer in it, but still I look back at that scene with... Mick Lar and the way he delivers as uh, T TJ, mm -hmm. I believe it is TJ. TJ and the Wombat. TJ, TJ and the Wombat. TJ's scream is so blood curdingly terrifying. I like, that's how good of an actor Mick is. Here, here, let's play it out and yep. we'll talk yes, more about go. it after. Yeah, absolutely. Just, there's Mick. Nick, where TJ and the Wombat. Wombat, Wombat. So Fucking morning zoo. <laughs> yeah. I, I kept, like, no, me so horny is being there. <laughs> It's, it's raining, man! We're in the middle of an impossible also, Cad Cannon is wombat is an actual wombat. Degrees, so eh, sure maybe. <laughs> Good edit. And in local sports news, many of our listeners are still waiting at the stadium for the East City the? Westman who are becoming increasingly... This is freaky. Yeah. yeah. Probably it's Oh, oh, see the socks. Oh, the socks oh, just oh, fall oh, out. Yeah. That makes me shiver when I see that. Sorry, there's something I want to point out because, th and this means a lot to me. Okay. So, uh, I, here. Um, so, how far back? I actually combined shots here. You do. So I can't remember which which is which. I think it's uh, no, it, no. Further? Go forward. No, no, go forward. All right. So this shot here, mm -hmm. um, as he's being uh, absorbed, I can't remember if it's this shot or the next shot, but. It falls like yeah, that. Okay, yeah, 
that is actually the color of the uh, the shirt there was different. Oh, I made oh. the the same blue as the pants I did because not I didn't okay. want. I, I wanted to imply it was the same person as it was falling down. Because then they I, all see wow. what he looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. that's I'm, scary. Okay, I'm, so this is why this is so freaky to me because I did not know that was an edit. I thought that was right. actually a shot of the footage. So it's like there are a lot of these things where like I didn't cool, even know it was an yeah, edit when it's done. Right. It. Like there are a lot that you don't explain that are edits I, that you just went to the extra effort to do. And you know, there's no bigger compliment because you know what they say: if nobody knows what you're doing, uh, no, if you're doing it right, nobody, nobody knows, knows you're doing anything, anything at all. I always yeah. say this when people say your show was so good. Why was it? I'm like, well, that's what happens when you have a professional movie caliber sound editor and visual editor editing everything. Yeah, your sound design has been all, mm. always been. Right. Don't listen to either of these. I'm not professional level but i am hire this bad. man you ever watch helsing and bridge he did all the audio for that all the blood oh, yeah. all the guns oh, oh i did so not good. imagine what he could do with that. an actual budget oh, my God. good shot by the way the the like you're just using, the, using both the scream from the radio and the woman at the same mm -hmm. time i am proud of that this is like yeah. this is one of the best it's just, I don't see this as human. This is like when we are at our best as directors of an actual scary scene, in my opinion. I, I, I'm really happy with this. Yes. I mean, it's like a great blend. Mm. And, and I like how it just gets quieter. What can TJ and the Wombat do for you? Hello there, I. Scott. Kaiser, at you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. there. Okay. That was quick. Could you play Video Kill the Radio Star? Wow. Okay, so here we go. Hold on, I want to I want to make yeah, sure that people yeah, catch yeah, this. Yeah. La nuit serait. La nuit serait. Yes, this was actually mentioned by Marin in mm -hmm. episode thirty. Please make sure you made those reservations yes. for the new serre. Yep. Yes, which means the tight anus or tight ass. It's an and this exact restaurant would come back in, in uh, the dragon shorts Android date team. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. When they actually go yeah, on that first to date. la nuit serait because they just right. had that yeah, reservation yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, for a while. This is not officially a place that is obviously edited on there. And this is a created location, but we've now used this location three times for being a fictitious place. I'm so happy. Yeah. It was That's your joke, cool. too. It was your fun. We usually only do the top 20. But today, we'll make an exception for you. Killer. Yep. Oh, shucks. Thanks, fellas. I'll, I'll be right in. Right. What does he mean? What? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that thing? No. No, get away. Get away from Walter. No. <laughs> oh, it is great. The whole using the radio thing is, is great, though. But yeah. Then video killed the radio star. He's killing the radio star. Oh, I Goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Jesus, it sounds <laughs> so violent. <laughs> Pictures came and broke your heart. Still get goosebumps from that performance so, from Mick. So I, I grew up, like, I was in a radio family. Like, my dad was, like, the vice president of a radio station. Mm. Uh, and I, I listened to the radio, like, all the damn time, especially those morning zoo shows mm. when I'm on my way to school in the morning. Shock, gotcha. shock. So, uh... Shock, shock. This, this was kind of like a personal kind of thing for me where it was just like, okay, how would these radio people like be like, you know, what would they be talking about? They'd be talking about sports. They'd be talking about weather. My one And they'd be doing like, you know, the, the morning top 10 and somebody calls in. All right, let's, what the fuck is, oh the, shit. The only thing I can even say I helped out with this scene was I was in like, here's the things, the annoying things they need to play. Yeah. And I gave down the list of all the annoying radio isms they needed. That was the only thing I provided yeah. was all the, it's a, a me so hard. Like I, I was pitching those too. Like remember, I was no, I, big okay, on the morning zoo. I, I, okay, but I was the horny line then. That was me. Like that one's got to be in there because that was everywhere in Canadian radio. Me so horny. You remember that one line from I mean, that one I, movie that's really yes, appropriate? Yes, I, 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 I know exactly what it is. I'm, I'm not entirely sure it was you that so pitched this thing. I remember because okay. I felt so fight, embarrassed. Fight, 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 fight. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, They're really, 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 really arguing over right. this. Oh, like, no, I came up with the idea. No, I came up with the idea, but I did. No, I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I just win and... Yeah. What, yeah if but... I, what if I win the belt and then I beat everybody? That's a great I... idea. <laughs> so I will say, the editing for that whole scene, when I was going through it, there was a part of me that was wondering, like, is this actually a little... Like, actually kind of a little creepy. Yes. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, holy wow, 
Uh, I hope that hits as well for the audience as it did Dude, it for did. like did, us. Did, there's, there's a horror movie out there that is entirely set in a radio station called Pontypool. And it's actually pretty good. It's, hmm. it's about like a, a weird zombie apocalypse that kind of happens. Mm. Uh, and, and everything you experience is from the inside of the oh. uh, radio station. But they have a communication to everybody. Yeah, so. but so most of the stuff you get is just from like audio outside of the wow. radio station. And every now and again, something like happens inside that's like, ooh, weird. We, we're kind of in a horror kick here. I think, do you have an outro scene on this one? Yes. Oh, okay, then. Yes, we actually should play it. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is my, oh, this is my, this yeah, is my it's, impression it's of somebody. DJ. I took over the radio I'm station. I'm so happy with the song yeah. choices. Oh, so the, this, I tried. Yeah, you looked up the song choices for this. I, I, who am I aping here? Request. Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem, Sorry, right. That's not in the lineup. That's not in the lineup. Also, I was on a weird Oingo Boingo kick at the time. So, so, so was I. I. So I'm, I'm glad we got Dead Man Party in the background. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I was super into um, into Oingo Boingo at the time too. I so say super into. But... Yeah, we have it. We have it. Yeah, no, like really, really, like because okay. uh, uh, one of my friends, um, I'd just been introduced to them not too like mm. long before this. And so when you were like, oh, I'm like, fuck yes, Dead Men's I, Party. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 yeah, I enjoy Zendata Mendata. Yeah. For, for me, I, like, I, I remember writing this and was like, I was like, I was like, all right, let's listen to Casey Kasem. All right, that's not in the lineup. Thank you so much. And now we have a letter from an adoring fan. Dear Cell, I just think you're the best. Why can't you suck me up in your amazing suck vortex? Thank you so much for mailing me. I want you to know that I will kill you slowly once I get to your town. Thanks for listening. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a great way to wrap that episode and just show how terrifying Cell is to the populace. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like being able to see what the citizens are up to, how they react to the world, and Cell. I have a, I have a comparison of what he is okay. at this stage. He is two characters that have met each other. Oh. He is Bugs Bunny meets Freddy Krueger. That's yeah, <laughs> Freddy Krueger meets Bugs Bunny is actually pretty accurate at the point. I just imagine if there was a he's, scene he's a where deadly, just, deadly Looney Tune. If he was just a scene where he just goes, Ah, Trunks, aren't I a stinker? He <laughs> <laughs> just pushes them away. <laughs> ah. oh, was that loud? Yeah, it was super duper loud. But you're wearing a headset. I know. What? Well, while Kaiser recovers from his uh, ear damage, we'll let you guys get on with your day. But we'll be back oh, next sorry. time on this thing that we're doing. Right here on Team Four Star Bento. Oh, that's not even... That. Why do you always fuck everything up? <laughs> I'm a streamer. And a VTuber. Damn it, Taka. <laughs> God dang it, Taka. I don't understand this VTuber nonsense. Brilliant. That's cool. Class. Love it. I always love these creative commentaries. Uh, I, I always... I don't remember a lot of moments when they're happening, but that Vegeta bit, I had the hype! <laughs> that definitely sticks with me. Um, and it's, I do believe we've got the Celloe next, which is cool. So we'll be checking that out next. Make sure you check out my Etsy shop. Links in the description for uh, t-shirts and hoodies that I've designed. And thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video I upload, link in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month for the last spot channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for that. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch or discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys all you guys next time.